If you have a preschooler at home, you've probably seen an episode or two or three of The Wonder Pets. I watch it all the time with my kids at home. Well, we are behind the scenes of the hit show in New York City. Well, we're going to talk to the creator of The Wonder Pets, see how an episode is put together, and meet the adorable girls who lend their voices to Linny, Tuck, and Ming Ming, too. Wonder Pets, Wonder Pets, we're on our way to help a little bee and save the day. They're cute, cuddly, and brave. They're the Wonder Pets, classroom pets by day. The phone, the phone is ringing. But after school, Lenny the guinea pig, Turtle Tuck, and Ming Ming Duckling become superheroes who rescue baby animals in need. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble somewhere. They're superheroes, but they don't have any superpowers. We really wanted for the show to be about teamwork, and we feel that young kids often don't have anything really that exceptional in terms of their skill level, but what they do have is the ability to work together to do great things. We have to help Teddy. Speaking of doing great things. Share. Come on, Wonder Pets. Meet Josh Seelig. Good. Okay, one more time, just a little more natural. Here we go. The creator of The Wonder Pets, a show that's a favorite among kids and popular with adults, too. A little bee bumping into flowers. This is serious. Josh has a long history with children's television, beginning at the age of four when he landed a role on Sesame Street. I didn't really understand that it was a TV show because you'd go into the set and it looked like you were on a city street. So Years later, Josh went behind the scenes, winning 10 Emmys for his work as a writer on Sesame Street. He then became head writer for Little Bill, later created the show Ubi, and then dreamed up the Wonder Pets. And it's really a magical feeling because these characters have been in my imagination and the imagination of this, of this company often for years. And you can feel the magic in the air at Josh's company, Little Airplane Productions in New York City, where the characters come alive. It's easy to see this is much more than a job for Josh and his team. Well, uh, it all started when I was probably five years old and I would be playing with my toys under my desk at school and uh, just be more interested in what I was doing, play acting with my toys rather than what the teacher was saying. And I had no idea but what I was doing at that time is I was actually animating. And that's what we do all day long, and it's the funnest job that you could possibly have. <laughs> in this room, designers, blocking artists, editors, animators, and producers are hard at work on a new episode. This arm is a little bit big, so here we go. Storyboard artist Jose Velasco one. is reading the script and creating a uh, blueprint no. of what this episode will look Basically, like, uh, starting with drawings of Tuck. Yeah. Just one episode takes at least 35 weeks to produce, and everything from writing to voice recording and music is done under one roof, which is extremely rare. This is serious. Jennifer Oxley came up with an animation technique for the Wonder Pets that's never been used before. See how lifelike the characters are? How Linny actually looks furry? They call it photo puppetry animation. The one thing that was really important to us was that we um, create characters that were really touchable and lovable, like characters that a child would want to reach right out and grab. And so that's why uh, Josh came up with the idea to use real photos. In order to get a picture of a cute guinea pig, they needed to find one, so they hit every pet shop in New York City. And I think we actually touched and cuddled with every single guinea pig in New York to find Linny. Once they found the most adorable guinea pig, duck, and turtle, they took photos and started what they call the cutification process. We make the face cuter, we bring the eyes a little bit bigger, we give them smiles, we give them cute accessories. And then, of course, they need voices. And that's where Tila Dunn, Sophie Zamchik, and Danica Lee come in. Oh. We bet she would share it with you. Best run with you. They were chosen to do the voices five years ago when Danica was four, Tila six, and Sophie eight. It's a really good experience actually because like every single week we get a new script and like, you know, it's thrilling because you're like, oh, what am I going to say next? So it's the happiest forest in the land where everyone shares because everyone cares. One of the biggest challenges for the girls. This is ridiculous. Sounding the same as they Good. did okay. when they started. Let's, uh, just uh, stay young and let's go back to the earlier way you were doing it. Okay, ready and go, Danica. Um, she just did. Okay, one more time, a little younger, and sweeter. Um, she just did. Here we go. 
something that makes the Wonder Pets unique, each episode features an original score recorded by a live orchestra. The 10 to 15 musicians pile into a tiny studio to record under the direction of Emmy and Grammy winning record producer Jeffrey Lesser. 370, here we go. The music is an integral part of this show. It's non-stop, it's, uh, it, uh, it underlies everything. So to have this done um, by real people is, uh, is phenomenal. And as if Josh and the team aren't busy enough with the Wonder Pets, they're doing double duty now, working on a new show that airs on the BBC's preschool channel called... Bud! Bud and Bud! Josh is now working on bringing Third and Bird to the U.S. I really have a respect for how important these shows are in the lives of young kids. They don't see them as shows and characters, they see them as their friends. They see these as welcoming, familiar places that they go every day. We're not too big, and we're not too tough, but when we work together, we've got the right stuff. Go on your best, yay! Can you believe how much work goes into making just one episode of The Wonder Pets? I will watch the show in a whole new way now. And if you would like to introduce your kids to The Wonder Pets, you'll find it every day on Nick Jr. or Noggin. I'm Julie O'Claire. Thanks for watching Parents TV. We'll see you next time.